Alcohol warming effect. You take a sip of whiskey and suddenly feel warm all over like someone turned up your internal thermostat. That's alcohol dilating your blood vessels, bringing warm blood closer to your skin surface. You feel toasty, but you're actually losing heat faster than before. It's a complete thermal illusion that can be dangerous in cold weather. Your body thinks it's warming up while it's actually cooling down rapidly. Alcohol hijacks your warmth sensors while secretly draining your actual body heat. It's basically like your thermostat is lying to you. Morning wood. You wake up with a raging boner that has absolutely nothing to do with what you were dreaming about. Zero attraction, zero arousal, and zero logical explanation. That's your body running overnight quality control tests without asking permission. During sleep, testosterone surges and blood flow increases to make sure everything still works. Most guys get three to five erections per night and never know it. Morning wood is just the final check you happen to wake up during. Your body essentially treats your private parts like a piece of equipment that needs regular inspection. Brain freeze. It's a hot day. You take a big bite of ice cream and bam, it feels like your brain just hit a wall of ice. Brain freeze happens when something cold touches the roof of your mouth. It chills the blood vessels, which then rapidly constrict and dilate. That sudden change tricks your brain into thinking the pain is coming from your forehead, not your mouth. It's a mix-up in signal processing where your brain's GPS system malfunctions spectacularly. One moment you're enjoying dessert. The next, your nervous system is filing a false emergency report about your skull being frozen solid. Yawn tears. You're tired in a meeting and let out a big <sighs> yawn. Suddenly, tears are streaming down your face like you just watched a sad movie. When you yawn, facial muscles contract so hard they squeeze your tear ducts like a sponge. The wider the yawn, the more pressure on your lacrimal glands. It's completely involuntary with no emotions involved. But try explaining that to your coworker who thinks you're having a breakdown. Your face literally can't yawn without activating its built-in sprinkler system. Goosebumps. You hear a song that hits just right or suddenly step into a cold breeze and your skin erupts in tiny bumps. That's not imagination. That's your sympathetic nervous system kicking in. Goosebumps happen when small muscles at the base of your hair follicles called erector pili contract. This pulls the skin tight and makes the hair stand up. It's a reflex triggered by either a drop in temperature or a spike in emotional intensity. Your brain sends an automatic signal through your nerves, and those tiny muscles respond instantly. They don't ask for permission. They just react. You're basically covered in microscopic alarm systems that go off whenever they feel like it. Hot Ear Syndrome You're sitting at your desk when one ear suddenly feels like it's on fire. It's burning red and radiating heat while the other ear stays completely normal. Blood vessels in that ear randomly dilate from stress, temperature change, or absolutely nothing at all. Nobody knows why it happens to just one ear or why your body decided this was a reasonable response to anything. It can last anywhere from minutes to hours with no warning or pattern. Your ear basically decided to have its own personal fever for no reason whatsoever. Hiccups. You're sitting in a meeting, everything's quiet, and suddenly that weird little jolt hits. A hiccup is actually a spasm of the diaphragm the muscle just below your lungs, followed by a sudden closure of your vocal cords, which causes the <laughs> sound. It can be triggered by things like eating too fast, drinking carbonated beverages, or even a sudden change in temperature. But sometimes there's no clear cause at all. Your brainstem misfires and your diaphragm reacts with the biological equivalent of a software glitch. Your breathing system just blue screened in the middle of an important presentation. Skin crawling. Ever feel like ants are marching across your skin when there's nothing there? That's called formication. It's nerve signals misfiring, often caused by anxiety, fatigue, or neurological changes. Your brain receives a signal from the skin that doesn't make sense and interprets it as crawling or tingling. It's creepy, harmless, and 100% an illusion. The sensation is real even though the bugs aren't. Your nervous system is basically filing false bug reports, creating a horror movie that exists only in your head but feels completely real. Ear popping. You're taking off on a plane, and your ears immediately pop. Everything sounds underwater and nothing helps. That's your eustachian tubes struggling to equalize pressure between your middle ear and the outside world. They should open automatically, but sometimes they stick or overcorrect. When they finally work again, you get that sudden and everything clears. Sometimes they malfunction for no reason and fix themselves just as randomly. Stomach growling. You're in a quiet room when your stomach decides to perform whale songs. That's just the sound of your intestines moving gas and fluid through your digestive tract. Your gut has its own nervous system with 500 million neurons making independent decisions about when to be loud. 
It happens whether you're hungry or not, following its own mysterious schedule. Your gut basically has its own nervous system that loves making noise at the worst possible times. Morning voice. You wake up sounding like you've been gargling rocks all night. Your voice is three octaves lower and completely unrecognizable. Your vocal cords relax and swell during sleep, collecting fluid like tiny sponges. That's why your first words sound demonic enough to scare your own reflection. It takes coffee and conversation to get back to recognizable human speech. Your throat essentially forgot what voice to use after eight hours offline. Eye twitching. You're talking to someone and suddenly, your eyelid starts fluttering on its own like it's trying to send Morse code. It's super annoying and impossible to ignore or control. That's tiny involuntary contractions of the eyelid muscles, often triggered by fatigue, stress, or caffeine overload. It's like your facial nerves are short-circuiting from burnout. The muscle isn't in pain, but your body is actually glitching out in protest to being overworked. It can last minutes or even days with no clear pattern. Your eye looks like it's desperately sending SOS signals that mean absolutely nothing. Contagious yawning. Someone yawns, and you immediately yawn back like it's transmitted through Wi-Fi. It works through glass, in photos. Even reading the word yawn right now probably made you want to yawn. That's because mirror neurons automatically copy behaviors without asking your permission first. Scientists think this evolved for group sleep synchronization because it was safer when everyone got tired together. Your brain treats yawning like a mandatory group activity that you can't opt out of. It's social contagion in action, spreading sleepiness whether you want it or not. The itch that moves. You scratch your arm and suddenly your back itches. Then your leg joins the party. That's referred itching when scratching one spot triggers nerves nearby like a chain reaction. Your nervous system gets confused about where the actual problem is. The more you scratch, the more spots light up elsewhere. You're basically playing itch tag with yourself and losing every round. Nose whistle. You're breathing normally when your nose becomes a tea kettle that everyone can hear three rooms away. Every inhale makes a high-pitched whistle that sounds like you're poorly tuned. Airflow is hitting the perfect angle in your nasal passage from slight swelling, dryness, or just your nostril shape creating an accidental wind instrument. You try breathing differently, but it just changes the pitch like tuning a very embarrassing flute. It basically stops and starts randomly with no clear trigger or solution. Motion sickness. You're on a bus scrolling through your phone and suddenly your stomach flips, your head spins, and everything feels completely off. That's motion sickness in action, and it's basically your brain having an existential crisis. It kicks in when your senses stop agreeing on what's real. Your inner ear is picking up motion while your eyes locked on your screen are saying, Nope, we're perfectly still. Your brain tries to reconcile the contradiction but fails spectacularly. In a panic, it assumes you might be hallucinating or worse, poisoned. So, it flips the nausea switch as a defense mechanism against a threat that doesn't actually exist. Your sensory system just had a group disagreement that ended with your body hitting the emergency button. Side stitch. You're running fine when suddenly there's a pain between your ribs that makes you stop like you've been stabbed by an invisible assassin. This is probably your diaphragm cramping or ligaments stretching from repetitive impact, but nobody knows exactly why it happens or how to prevent it reliably. Theories include blood flow issues, nerve irritation, or gas bubbles in weird places. It happens more if you ate before running or skipped warming up. Your body is essentially punishing you for the audacity of trying to exercise. Chili eating. You bite into a hot pepper and your mouth explodes in fire like you just gargled lava. Your tongue burns. You're sweating, crying, and reaching for milk like it's a fire extinguisher. But here's the completely insane part. Chilies aren't actually hot or cause any real damage. It's a chemical that tricks your pain receptors into thinking they're being burned alive. No actual heat or tissue damage is happening anywhere. The milk helps because casein proteins bind to capsaicin and wash it away. Your brain is convinced you're being tortured by imaginary flames. You're basically getting scammed by a plant. Cold nose. Your entire body is warm, but your nose feels frozen solid. Even indoors, it stays ice cold while everything else is fine. That's because your nose sticks out with zero protection from cold air. It has tons of blood vessels right at the surface and no fat layer for insulation. When you're even slightly cold, blood gets redirected away from your extremities first. Your nose is basically your body's temperature scout always getting hit first by the cold. So which body glitch happens to you most often? Comment your worst one below. Peace out.